Rovers, Brett from Solo Old Hammer Gaming, and guess what turned up today? There's part of the packaging. The actual wrapping's gone to my mum, who's got to send some stuff off to Bathurst. But this arrived in the mail today, so I thought I'd open it up and share a video of Mighty Fortress the way it was. So I haven't opened the box as you can see, but oh, some good packaging. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> Pretty happy already. <laughs> Holy moly. Oh, I've been waiting so long for this. <laughs> There's one of the towers. Let's get this out of the way so we can... So we can unbox it properly. There's one of the towers. Oh, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I've got the plastic one, the um, the newer one from, I think it was fifth, fifth or sixth edition, when there's another siege book come out. But um, yeah, I've always wanted one of these, always. And it's well packed too, so thank you very much, Lee. Oh, <laughs> another tower. I'm loving these little arrow slits in the in the side. I don't know if I should paint this, but oh, pretty tempted to. There's another tower. <laughs> this is awesome. Oh well, I can't believe this. I finally, finally, finally got one. Let's have a look. Oh, this is a wall section with with a gate. Just got so much extra stuff in, like this one and the plastic one. The plastic one come with four towers, three walls and a gate, but this one's got four towers, two gates, and four walls. <laughs> oh, look at that. And that stood up to the test of time too. Polystyrene, but... It's good to do this unboxing video as well, that way I know how to put it back in the box. But I don't know, what do you reckon? Do you reckon I should should paint it? That'd be interesting to, to see. But yeah, put some comments in the um, comment section whether I should paint it or not. But, oh well. <laughs> Sadly, it makes me want to get another one. <laughs> just so I can do the other fortresses in the siege book because there was some layouts for like a border fortress which is what this one ends up making for siege or um yeah parts for cities and stuff for um the other ones but you needed extra sets like two sets or three sets of mighty foot wow okay here we go oh this is all the Added extras like doors. I hope that's in focus. Ladders. <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> oh well. Oh, bigger ladder there. I can get up to the to the side of the fortress when. Walks attack. Oh, the gates. Oh well, <laughs> that's cool. Oh well, and they're not and they're not um they're not cracked or anything, so they're still working. The hinges. Are, oh, I didn't get that. The hinges are still on, and the gates themselves are still working. Now I think they sh they should come with like a. Oh, there it is. Cross piece. Here's the other gate, another door, some, I think they're parasites, I think that's what they were called, parasites, oh, flagpoles, oh yes, far out, oh, I am so cheering, 
You cannot believe how, how happy I am that this finally turned up. But, um, yeah, that's the unboxing video of the Mighty Fortress. I've just got home from work, so... But we've got some stuff planned for the channel. I'm organising a... I'm in the yeah, middle of organising a battle report with Jesse, and we're going to have... We're going to fight it over over the internet. And then um, we've just got to figure out how to, how to record it, so that way I can share it with everybody. But he's, yeah, wanting to learn how to play third edition which is cool and then um oh i can't remember his name on um i'm just so excited this has turned up but on the uh, old hammer australia website for on facebook he's he wants to have a um online battle as well so i've got to learn how to um <laughs> how to do that i think i've got to get a webcam or something like that and and set it up over the battlefield but i've got, also got to learn how to um what to use to record it so that way I can share it with you guys. Oh, there's a the trap doors. Oh, jeez. That is cool. <laughs> you got no idea how long I've been waiting for this. 20 plus years. <laughs> but yeah, so that's it, the Mighty Fortress. It's finally turned up in the mail and. I am happy chappy right now. So, but yeah, leave a comment whether I should paint it or not. Um, I definitely have to put a protective coat on it. Maybe spray some um, uh, PVA glue onto it, watered down PVA glue to give it a a protective coat from the um, paint for when I undercoat undercoat. Like the aerosol can might eat the eat the um, polystyrene and I don't really want that but if, yeah you've got an idea of how how big this is two wall sections down plus another um, tower on there and one wide so pretty much takes up about that much of my very small kitchen table but um, yeah very happy so yeah cannot wait but yeah let me know in the comments whether i should um protective coat it and then paint it so yeah for a siege game but uh yeah let me know and um oh i'm starting to repeat myself now because i'm just so happy that i finally got it <laughs> sorry about that but very excited i'm so happy i can't believe it's finally here finally here and i am cheering but um yeah, leave a, leave a comment in the comment section. Thanks to all my subscribers. We're nearly up to the 120s now. <laughs> Can't believe it. This is awesome. Mighty Fortress has turned up. So, and I've got some orcs coming too. For, um, like to form the actual orc portion of the, the siege game. And still plugging away at getting me Chaos Beastmen done for another battle report. But, uh, yeah. Let me know in the comments whether I should paint it or not. So excited. I'm glad it's here. And good packaging too. It wrapped it up pretty good. Very nice. But um, thanks for watching and keep on climbing that old hammer mountain with me. And stay cool. Stay old hammer.